Today we'll start the new chapter, Sequences and Set. We are going to learn about sequences. What is a sequence? We have to describe the rule for continuing a sequence and find the nth term or describe the sequence. Let's remember the meaning of the sequence. We have learned that a sequence is a list of numbers in a particular order. And each number is called term. For example, if I have the numbers 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, and so on. This one is called a sequence and each of these numbers is called a term. So the first term is 2, the second one is 6, the, the third term is 10, the fourth term is 14, the fifth term is 18, and so on. This one is a sequence because the numbers are related to each other with a particular order, which means the difference between each term is 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 4 is 14, plus 4 is 18, and so on. Plus 4, the common difference, is called the rule of the sequence. Let's take a look on the examples that are given in the book. It is given the sequence 2, 8, 14, 20, 26, 32. The difference between each term in this case is plus 6. It is given another sequence at the second example, 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 4, 1 over 8. And the rule for this one is dividing each term by 2. Another example can be this one, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. In this case, the rule is multiply by 2. Let's have a look on exercise 1. There are given some sequences and we have to find the rule and continue with the next three terms. At the first one I have 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and so on. If we take a look, in each term we have the difference 2. So 5 plus 2 will give me 7, plus 2, 9, plus 2, 11, plus 2, 13. So the next term will be 15, 17, and then 19. In the same way, you can continue with the others. The most important thing in sequ sequences is to find the nth term, or to find any higher term when the beginning of the sequence is given. In the given example, we have to find the nth term of this sequence. The first term is 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 22, 26, and so on. We show the terms by using, or we denote the terms by using this symbol. A1, it means the first term, is equal to 2. A2 is equal to 6. A3 is equal to 10. A4 is equal to 14. A5 is equal to 18. A6 is equal to 22. And A7 is equal to 26. So the first term is 2. The second term is 6. The third term is 10. The fourth term is 14 and so on. If I ask you what is the hundredth term. It is difficult to continue like this. That's why we need a general formula for finding the term of a sequence. To find the general term or the general, general formula of a sequence, we'll use this formula. A n, which means the nth term, is equal to the first term plus nth minus 1 times common difference. So a n is the nth term 
n is the number of term and d is the common difference. Now let's find the rule for this sequence. a n is equal to a1, it means the first term, which is 2, plus n minus 1 times the difference between terms. So 2 to 6, the difference is 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. So the common difference will be 4. So a n is equal to 2 plus n minus 1 times 4. a n is 2 plus... 4n minus 4, a n is equal to 2, 2 minus 4 plus 4n, a n is equal to 4n minus 2. So the nth term of this sequence will be 4n minus 2. So can we find the 40th term? of this sequence, it means, can I find A40? If we know the general rule, of course we can. It means in place of N, I have to write 40. 4 times 40 minus 2. 160 minus 2, which is 158. So the 40th term of this sequence will be 158. Let's pass to question C. Explain how you know that the number 50 is in the sequence and work out which position it is in. So we have to check if number 50 is found in any term of our sequence and which term is it. Well, we know what is the rule of our sequence. So we just have to substitute the a n, it means the value that is given as 50, and found what is n, the number of the term that we are looking for. So we know the rule a n is equal to 4 n minus 2. I have to check if is there any a n 50. So 50 is equal to 4 n minus 2. 4n is equal to 52, n is equal to 52 over 4, which is 13. So since n is the whole number, it means yes, 50 is found in our sequence, and it is the 13th term. Question C. Find the rule Explain how you know that the number 125 is not in the sequence. In the same way that we checked for 50, we have to check for the number 125. It means, in our rule, a n is equal to 4 n minus 2. And I have to check if 125 can be any of our term is equal to 4 n minus 2. 4 n is equal to 100. And 27 so n is equal to 127 divided by 4 if you perform this this division n will be 31.75 now the meaning of this one is that the 31.75th term is 125 which is not possible because the number of the terms is a whole number. So we can have the first term, the second, the third, the 31th term, but not 31.75. So we'll say that 125 is not a number in our sequence. Now let's apply our skills in examples that are found on the book. Let's solve exercise 1a together. And then you'll continue with others. In exercise 1, there are given some sequences and we have to find the nth term and the 50th term for each of them. Let's start with the first one. It is given the sequence 5, 7, 
9, 11, 13, and so on. So, to find the nth term, it means a n, we must know the first term a1, which is 5, and the difference for each term, difference for the terms in this case is 2. So, a n will be equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d, which means a n is equal to a1 is 5 plus n minus 1 times 2. a n is equal to 5 plus 2 n minus 2. a n is equal to 2 n plus 3. So the rule for finding the terms in this sequence will be 2 n plus 3. Now let's find the a15. a15 means n is equal to 15. So directly we have to substitute in place of n, 15. a15 is equal to 2 times 15 plus 3, which is 30 plus 3, 33. So the 15th term of this sequence will be 33. I will solve it with you E2 because we have a regress in this sequence. So the sequence is 8, 5, 2, minus 1, minus 4, and so on. To find the a n, first we need a1. a1 in this case is 8. We need the difference between each term. So 8 to 5, I have subtracted minus 3. So the common difference in this case will be minus 3. Now let's find a n. a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d. a n is equal to 8 plus n minus 1 times minus 3. a n is equal to 8 plus minus 3n plus 3, an is equal to 8 plus 3, which is 11, minus 3n. So the term to term rule for this sequence will be 11 minus 3n. Now let's find a15. It means the 15th term, which will be 11 minus 3 times 15, 11 minus 3 times 5, 15, 45, minus 34. So the 50th term of the sequence will be minus 34. Now pause the video and solve the other ones in your class notebook in the same way.